All right, so this is something that has been on my to-do list for quite some time now. Uh, I just been waiting for a, <laughs> for a dead week to do it, basically, <laughs> uh, which is to stack up with uh, Red Ellie Hawk and kill the bird with um, the massive stat buffs that you can get from just taking no damage for a few turns. I, I say a few, but it's quite a bit uh, <laughs> for a few turns, and um, you know, just go to town with the the stat buffs. So essentially, you just need Bon, um, no Holy Relic, I'm not even using the Holy Relic, because I actually don't want to do that much damage to him. Uh, Bon's passive, to stack up to five turns. Elat's ultimate, I don't think it needs to be anything more than 1-6, it just needs like a little bit of a defense buff. Um, obviously, Ali Hawk. And then I'm using Merlin. For what I've seen, the Japanese YouTubers do this, like, some Japanese YouTubers is like did this like a week after the, the event came out. Uh, they were using like Valenti, but I... I didn't like the way they were doing it because they they were uh, doing this on like phase two because they, they couldn't take the ult from phase one. Um, I think a buffer a, a, a ult removal should be better. Let's give this me a last clip. But I'll bring out Green Merlin. Um, but yeah, essentially that's all you need. And uh, I did put resist. I have these <laughs> resistance gears laying around because I was uh, I saw a Japanese Twitter user beat the legendary Escanor fight with this strategy. <laughs> so I've been trying to do it, it's just very complicated because you need very good card RNG um, in the beginning. But yeah, I have these resistance uh, gear, so I put, I put one on Bano if it's necessary, to be honest. But yeah, if I remember, I actually <laughs> did do this like quite some time ago. Let me swap out, Ooh. yeah. Uh, September of 2020 where I went on 4,000 stacks with Ellie Hawk. Look at those stats, baby. I think you can, like, cap, um, like, 10 million tax stand, stuff like that, 100 million HP. Um, that might take, like, I don't even know how long. Because uh, for me, it was, uh, that was uh, overnight. You know, I just overnighted the, uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the stage with a macro and and Liz just you know just sitting there, yeah that was uh, that was something. So yeah here, um, I ult rushed with uh, Elite so I get the ult in the first turn, and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be uh, tanking very fairly well. The only thing that we're not gonna be tanking is uh, you know the ults. So that's why Merlin is here because uh, if I went with the Valenti strategy, which might be better, I don't know. But the Valenti strategy, you need to uh, kill him in the same turn that he gets the ultimate so that he doesn't ultra, so that you have stacks for the second phase. But I actually wanted to stack on the first phase, because I think it might be better. I don't know, maybe I'm incorrect. Sometimes I'm just, I'm just wrong. It is what it is, you know? But yeah, he got the ult, we're going to be removing it, and we're going to be uh, uh, starting the stack. And, uh, Merlin's shield held up pretty well right there, so we don't have to put up a new one. Uh, would like to get new Elat cards to push out another ultimate for her in case I need it, but I don't know if it's needed, to be honest. Okay, because if you start stacking on phase one, as I'm wasting cards, because I need to keep wasting cards, so I get, like, you know, Lizhawk cards, so I can have them for phase 3 and 4. Uh, I can actually, you know, do damage to him. In case I do kill him by accident, I'm fine. So we're gonna be taking up his ultimate gauge here. Um, we're gonna have Elat's ultimate for, for the following turn after next, so we're, we should be good. We should be good. Should have used level 1 shield here, but it's okay. Oh, that did more than I wanted to. I think this <laughs> this actually might work better with like level 80 character. <laughs> it's no joke. Cuz I think I'm doing too much damage to him. Like I don't want to do this much damage cuz I want to waste cards, right? So I can have more Lizhawk cards, but I don't want to do this much damage to him. Okay. We should be good. The ultimate should not do damage to us. We're we're stacking. I should have checked if it's 5 already, but it should be 5. We're stacking stacking now. So they should not do damage. It did, but to the shield. Mm, 
Makes me a little concerned that I need shields for uh, for the ults, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Would you let kill here? I hope not. Hope not. But I actually think we didn't have uh, max bond stack. I don't think it's been five turns. Okay, we shouldn't kill. That's fine. That is fine. Got another Merlin card for the stacking. Or for the ults. Um, so I got a Merlin shield and the takeoff ultimate gauge. Those two should cover for the next two ultimates. But... Hmm. Again, it does make me concerned that I do need it. At this point, we do have five <laughs> five bond stacks. Um, how is Ellie Hawk looking like already? Five stacks, okay. So th this has been only five turns. So now he has minus 75. Okay, I shouldn't be too worried then. We should be fine. So this will take me a while. I think <laughs> I'm going to have to cut here. And um, I guess I'll be back in... Um, I don't even know how long. <laughs> I don't even know how long. How long will it take to get max? Or not max, but the amount necessary for, uh, for me to, you know, just obliterate phase 3 and 4. I don't even know. I think I'm going to go for, like, 50 stacks and I'll see how much attack she has. Uh, but I might end up going to, like, 100 stacks or something. Okay, let's see if I take damage to this ultimate. Although, I wouldn't like the measure to be, you know, with the ult from Elat, because I won't have that forever. Okay, I took no damage. But that's with the Elat ultimate, right? Hmm. Maybe I should have watched someone's video. <laughs> Maybe I should have watched someone's video. No! Uh, can I get Elat cards? That'd be great. Okay, no Elat buff. We should still be fine, though. Yep, still taking zero damage. Very, very nice. Uh, we're getting level 3 cards for Ellie Hawk, though. Very, very good. Should I kill here? Mm. You know... It doesn't sound like a... Mm. It's like... Uh, this ultimate... Is it weaker or stronger than the next one? Should I check this? C can I check this? <laughs> uh, I'm a little nervous. I think I think if this kills, it kills. It doesn't. Do I take damage from this ultimate with no shield, no, no ultimate? That is my concern. I do. <sighs> <sighs> Kidding me. Okay, so as I suspected, phase two's ultimate actually deals less damage. Um, so here, if we are gonna stall in the first phase, because his ultimate is a really high multiplier, I do need the elite ultimate every turn, but sometimes you just get unlucky, right? So uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing until this uh, elite ultimate goes away. And then we're gonna go into phase two. Um, we're gonna go into phase two. And. I guess push for another <laughs> ultimate. I don't know. There, I don't need to worry about it because uh, he has. Um, he has a much weaker ultimate. So we should be okay with that. Here, I, I can't avoid it anymore because I just got kind of cocked by the cards. With the Eli ultimate, I just don't take any damage. Mm. Can go for one more turn. I don't know how many stacks I need. To be fair. Maybe I don't need that many. Because, um... Maybe I should have brought, uh, maybe I should have brought Liz with attack gear. I don't have attack UR gear for her, I mean, just attack SSR gear. Okay. With 31,000 attack. Uh, let's make sure that we kill here. I don't want to use Lizhawk cards, but I guess I'll use this one at least. 
Let's make sure that we kill here. And waste those cards so we can get more Eleth cards. We got Eleth cards, thank god. We're gonna be doing this. We just need one Eleth card. So we can just move around and stuff. I uh, got true Merlin cards. That's not good. Didn't want to combine them. Because I actually could use it for taking off all the big age. I mean, I don't need it, to be fair. Mm, should I? I think I should waste this Merlin ultimate. I don't think I'm going to kill. So. Then I'll. I'll move this Merlin ultimate around, or a card around, and I'll just move this Elath card. Just to waste the space. Then we got the Elath ultimate back for the ultimate. And this is more stressful than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, okay, I got, I got set up, and then I just keep clicking to skip turn until we're done. <laughs> it's not as simple as I thought it was going to be. Uh, we should tank the ultimate with no problems, just having the Elath uh Alt on. So actually, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna skip this, um, and then next turn or next time I need to get oh, a space for Elect, I'm just gonna waste the Merlin card instead. Yeah, we think the ultimate no problem. So uh, I guess I'll be back in a few turns. So I killed Phase Two by accident. <laughs> God damn it! Ah. Uh... We have 86,000 attack. Only 51 stacks, though. I, I did too much damage to him. <sighs> we should be okay. He should be removing... Merlin's buffs. Not anyone else's. Because he should be targeting Merlin here. And, um... Just so long as this doesn't attack Bon or Liz, we're good. He should not attack Liz. He should attack who has the least HP and stuff. And Liz is for sure not the one with the least HP. Ah, uh, 216 and then check Bon correctly. He should, it should be Merlin. So I don't want to waste too many cards for Liz. I want to waste one so we can kill him in a timely manner. Damage cap. Yep. I have, like, I have infinite attack. Like, <laughs> I have too much attack. This should damage cap. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. He goes to Merlin. Nice. He still does no damage. So we should be good to go on those single targets and stuff like that. Should I still push the ult with... Um... I should. I should. Let's do this. Because um, the single targets and stuff... For buff removal should all be on Merlin anyways. Yeah. It's just how the uh, the, the boss operates and stuff. I know, because he would have... He, he always attacks um, one character with those single targets and remove buffs. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do this. Maybe I shouldn't be wasting all these list cards, but... I'm gonna do this. And then we're gonna be uh, one hit away from killing him. And we should... Weird. Maybe it was because of the shield? I, I kinda wanna kill him, I don't wanna risk it. <laughs> Cause the buff removals are very annoying. We should just get, I have 90,000 attack, I think this is more than enough. We're gonna kill him here. I'll waste this for space. I'll just waste all my cards. We have four Liz cards. It will be more than enough for damage. It will be just more than enough. I I highly doubt I need more than four cards. I'm going to damage cap with every single hit. Watch. I'm going to damage cap with every single hit. Boom. 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 Damage cap in every single one. Yep, damage cap. Damage cap. Not damage cap, but next one is, so it's done. Nice! That actually, I mean, it, it took me like maybe 40 minutes, but it was because I, I, I stopped in the middle of it. Because um, <laughs> we just got leaks for slime, <laughs> and I stopped in the middle of it to record that. Uh, but this was fun, I mean, I don't recommend people actually going out of their way to do this. 
I don't know. That's the end. <laughs> I just end with, I don't know. <laughs> That's my final thoughts. Uh, it's pretty fun seeing Liz doing big numbers, though. <laughs>